Well, hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. We're here again for the return of the Halo fan vote. This is the third year in a row that we've been able to vote on a new product created by Mega, and this year, they've got something really exciting up their sleeve. So I'm gonna break it down as much as I can in this video, and I recommend you stay to the end because there's a lot of information. But the one thing I wanted to highlight first, which I think is really important to a lot of people, is this Halo Mega fan vote will ship exclusively from Mattel Creations. That means it's worldwide shipping. You'll be able to get the set guaranteed. Distribution issues won't be as much of a thing here. You can pre-order. Mattel Creations offers worldwide shipping and this set is coming exclusively to that website. And this fan vote will take place over multiple rounds of voting. Before we get started today, I just have to give a huge shout out to everyone who has entered the Christmas Toymation Fest so far. I've currently collated together 72 entries and some of them are pretty insane. We've got over 24 hours for submissions to still come in and they are literally arriving every like 30 minutes to an hour. So I've tried to put as many on the screen as I can right now. Judging will be taking place on February 5th and there's a link down below in the descriptions and the comments to that live stream. So you can watch live on February 5th where we're going through as a panel of judges and watching every single entry. So I can't wait to get started with that. Thank you so much for the support. So big shout out to the Christmas Toymation Fest 20 2022 and the return of the assault on squad 45. So in this video, we're going to break down all the information, including a statement Yan has provided me. We're also going to go back in time and have a look at some of the old fan votes, including one that people don't even realize happened in 2011. I'm always super excited, super invigorated when there's a new Halo fan vote. It brings the community together and it makes everybody feel like they have an impact directly on the products they enjoy. So two days ago, Halo Waypoint did an initial teaser of this vote. They didn't actually specify that it was a fan vote and I didn't actually see many people uh, even hazard a guess that it was. I think a lot of people just thought it was a new set release. They released this image. I saw a couple of people thinking it was super nostalgic that it was in the style of the old blueprints which I do really enjoy. And we were able to highlight some really interesting armors including a brand new chest and some helmets, uh, specifically two helmets. We're not exactly sure what they are. A lot of people say Stormfall or Firefall. Some people say a Visorless Gungnir. We're gonna find all that out soon but there are definitely Definitely two new helmets, definitely a new chest, and some cybernetic limbs as well. We've also got a mongoose and a warthog. The warthog has a really interesting plate on the front. People have said it's way more 343 era, and uh, I th I've seen a lot of really good feedback towards that warthog in particular, actually. Then we've got a load of infinite era weapons, and this is one set. We are voting on one set. So currently, Mega has released a statement on their website. I'm gonna go through that on Mattel Creations, then an exclusive statement Yan sent me, and then we're gonna look back at the previous Halo. Halo fan vote. Spartans unite! The Mega Halo fan vote 2023 is coming soon. Help us design a hashtag Halo Infinite themed building set over multiple rounds of voting. Ooh. Ooh la la. Multiple rounds of voting, you say? Are you up for the mission? Wow. Multiple rounds of voting, fascinating. Now, I've been speculating on this and I asked Yan for an official statement and he told me this. Fans will be able to vote through multiple rounds on different components of a single set. Round one, Warthog. Round two, Mongoose. Round three, Fire Team. The final set will be available to purchase exclusively on Mattel Creations. Pre-orders in March, 2023 ships globally 2024. Okay, so pre-orders are coming in next month, which makes sense. If there are three rounds of voting, that means it's pretty much the whole month, I would assume. I mean, four weeks in a month, it'll probably take pretty much the full month to do all that voting. So three rounds of voting, one on the Warthog, one on the Mongoose, and one on the Fire Team. The interesting thing is we've already seen the Warthog and the Mongoose and the Fire Team. And we've already seen the armors, we've already seen the weapons, so... My only conclusion, the only conclusion I think to be made, is that we're voting on the colors of these sets. I mean, Halo Infinite is famous for its coating, its weapon coatings, its armor coatings, its vehicle coatings. I think the only thing to assume here is that the Warthog coating is round one, the Mongoose coating is round two, and then the Fire Team coatings are round three. Now, does that mean it's one kind of coating across the eight Spartans? But then it's clearly two 
fire teams, it's clearly meant to resemble 4v4 Halo Infinite multiplayer. Is it one coating for one team and one coating for another team? Or is it like randomized coatings? Or is it like one Spartan from each team will have a coating? That I don't know. That is actually a really exciting uh, round of questions. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Wow, so Warthog and Mongoose coatings. I'm going to put some images on the screen of some of my favorites. I love the cherry Warthog coating, although it's a rare one, so I don't think that include that. If I was to choose one Warthog coating, and I think a lot of people would choose the same, it's one of the variants of the black and gold. I love the Rockstar Nocturne Sky coating, so I would hope for that. On the Mongoose, it would be cool to see some kind of uh, camouflage, uh, something that was like a really complex coating. But the sky's the limit, really. I mean, there are so many nice coatings in Warthogs and Mongooses alike. Mongo guy? <laughs> Mongo guy? Mongoose? <laughs> Mongoose? <laughs> Mongoose. I know the plural of Mongoose is Mongoose. Uh, yeah, no, the, it's really exciting. And to be honest, for me, this is a better kind of vote in a lot of ways than we've had before. 2021, we were voting on Halo Heroes. 2022, we were voting on sets. And both of those votes were so diverse in choice, that I think it led to more people being disappointed about the final verdict. You know, that's just speculation, and I, for one, uh, didn't really mind. Both of the votes, I think, were super interesting for their own reasons, and I was really happy, uh, legitimately happy with any result from those fan votes, because they were all solid choices. But this one, it definitely lends itself more to, uh, you know, not being heartbroken if your favorite warthog coating doesn't win. I don't know how many you'll be able to choose from. I'd assume four for each coating, if I was to guess. But I think this is just a way more simple collaboration and a better way for people to just put their stamp on a set. Like, Mega knows what they're making, but it's just how they make it. And that's like a really good step forward for what they could do in the future. Like, Mega could open up the sort of blueprints to so many of these sets. They could come to us and say, hey, we just have a weapon that needs a coating. Which one would you like? Like, they could do it even on an even more casual basis in the future. So I think this is a really good step forward. And it's great that, you know, three years in a row, Mega wants to do these fan votes. I would like to thank Yan in particular for providing me with some of this information. Apparently there is a video and instructions coming soon. Not sure exactly when, but right now you can see the Mattel Creations website. And every time there is any new piece of information on this, anytime a vote opens for a new section, anytime a vote closes and they announce a winner of each round, I will be there to tell you exactly what happens. So make sure to subscribe and turn the bell on. I, I don't really ever like saying that, but I mean, if you do want to keep up to date with this fan competition, maybe do consider turning uh, notifications on. A lot of really exciting stuff here. I also want to talk about Mattel Creations. A lot of people don't really know how good Mattel Creations is for getting new products worldwide. Currently on their website, they have the Banished Phantom, the Pelican, and the Arbiter's Quest listed. The Pelican is a little more expensive than retail, but the Phantom and the Arbiter's Quest are retail, and they ship worldwide. And apparently, I just went on the website now, shipping to the UK is only a flat nine pounds, which is about $11, which is not bad compared to a lot of like, uh, you know, increased scalping prices on eBay. That's not half bad. And a couple of UK collectors have approached me and said, oh, do you think I should be paying $150 for this Phantom on eBay? And I'm saying, no, it's actually on Mattel Creations and people don't know. So I do wholeheartedly recommend that you check out the website, check out what they have available, and also subscribe to their newsletter at the bottom. So they will tell you when new sets become available. And yes, Mattel Creations originally promised that the Banished Phantom was going to be the first to ship worldwide if you pre-ordered, and I know that it wasn't, Amazon was, but a lot of that is out of their control, I think. When they're trying to get started, like, Mega is clearly trying to move towards e-commerce, like, direct to consumer, and that's better for everyone. That's better for us. They can keep prices down, they can make more money and produce more sets. Uh, I think it's actually very important that we do support Mattel Creations now. And the pre-order for this set will be going up in March and then shipping next year and I know that's a long time to wait they gotta finish designing it and produce it and ship it. Like it takes a year. So I, I think a year is actually a pretty small window. And with good support of Mattel Creations, we can try and take control of this distribution issue. I think that might end up working out very well for everybody. I mean, I would really like to see things like the Traxxas Factory Flood ship from Mattel Creations. And Mattel did confirm about a month or two ago now that the Falcon Sweep is coming to Mattel Creations for a limited time drop this year. So the Falcon Sweep will be returning with worldwide shipping on Mattel Creations. And again, 
and I'll post news about that when it happens. To celebrate this awesome news, I'm giving away some trolley Halo Infinite stickers. All you need to do to be entered to win these is just like this video, make sure you're subscribed, and comment down below with which coating you would like to see for either the Warthog, the Mongoose, your favorite Spartan armor coating, or any of the above, or all of the above. And I'll choose a random winner to ship those to you free of charge. So ladies and gentlemen, let's quickly go back in time for a second and look at the previous Halo fan votes, just for fun. In 2011, there was a Halo Mega fan vote at Halo Fest. Halo Fest was a celebration of the 10 year anniversary of Halo Combat Evolved. It was an awesome experience that I could have only dreamed of attending. I did get the official grunt. This grunt was produced for Halo Fest and he's one of my favorite collectibles. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, there was the Halo Mega CE Warthog with Arby and Chief. I always think about that picture of like hundreds of them stacked up in a warehouse. So good. At that event, there was a Halo Mega fan vote. Voting between the Spirit Dropship, a Halo 4 Forerunner structure, and the Countdown. If you know your mega history, the Countdown won and became the first ever Halo fan vote. That was a closed off vote though, only open to attendees at the event. And funnily enough, the Spirit Dropship ended up being a signature build anyway, and the Halo 4 structure kind of ended up becoming Cauldron Clash. So we kind of ended up getting all three of those anyway, even if they were slightly scaled down. And then the fan vote uh, took a big hiatus, actually a 10 year hiatus, and then returned in 2021 for a new Halo Mega fan vote. And for that one, we were voting on Halo Hero Series 16 between Thrall Slayer, CQB, a Flood Combat form, and Haunted Helmet. Justice for Thrall Slayer, the uh, Haunted Helmet actually won. But I think Mega kind of wanted the Flood Combat form to win because the next year in 2022, the Halo Mega fan vote returned again with a set choice between Traxxas Factory Flood, UNSC Cougar, and Banished Reaver. Traxxas Flood won by a lot. <laughs> it got 6,600 votes, which was 53%. Trailing behind was Warden Eternal with 18%, the Cougar with 17%, and the Reaver with 12%. And now we come to today. Let me know down below what you think of this Halo Mega fan vote. Are you excited? And are you most hyped of all to be able to get this worldwide shipping? I would highly recommend you get your pre-order in when the pre-orders become available. I assume at the end of the fan vote, and I assume once they've actually got some concept art properly for this. What coatings would you like to see on a Spartan, a Warthog, or a Mongoose? If this goes well, I would love to run series after series of polls in the future where the fans can vote for their favorite coatings, and hopefully I'll be able to present all that information to Mega. Like I said before, like Mega are clearly opening up more and more into fan cooperation for sets. I see a future where we are able to suggest multiple sets that they produce. Like, I would love to see a future where fans hold hand in hand with Mega. And also people may be concerned about the stock volumes for this. The genius behind it releasing in a year's time means it doesn't really matter how many quote unquote scalpers buy 10 of these on Mattel Creations. As long as you put your pre-order in, they'll just produce as much as they get orders for. So I don't think there's gonna be any issue with selling out early or uh, them immediately being listed online. You know, it's a full year until it gets released again. I don't know if it will ever be released after that. Will it then get even more stock? The next year when it's eventually produced? I don't think so, but maybe with enough demand that is a possibility. Remember, we did get the 20th character pack restocked in a big way, so anything is possible. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. As always, you stay awesome, you stay super duper safe out there, folks. Shout out to the Mega Halo Fan Vote 2023. Stick it with The Domain for all your Mega Halo news.